Hey everyone, Billy Joel once sang a song that mentioned trouble in the sewers, and right now that would be topical because the sewers canal frankly resembles another transit route, specifically the M25 on a bank holiday Monday. Albeit in a year when there's not a pandemic, the roads are actually pretty good right now, even if there's nowhere to actually drive to. But anyway, this week a container vessel named the Ever Given collided with the side of the canal and managed to get stuck sideways. And if you can imagine Diane Abbott trying to shuffle sideways down the aisle of a busy passenger plane, it kind of looks like that really. Unfortunately, whilst that would be hilarious, this situation in Egypt is not, and the shipping route being closed is costing the global economy about $10 billion a day in lost trade as boats queue up at either entrances to the canal. The situation is actually a lot worse because experts say it could potentially take a couple of weeks to get it sorted and with those sort of timescales I'm assuming that they have a team of broadband engineers or possibly a crew from my local council flying over to deal with the mess. The current idea is being floated, get it, floated, to get the stricken boat moving again involve lightening it by siphoning off most of the fuel and removing the heavy containers from it so that a tugboat can get it shifted from the sand that it's lodged into. Alas these boats carry literally thousands of containers and the cranes are pretty specialist so the process of getting the boat to lose weight is going to go as slowly as if it were you or I trying to lose some weight before going to Greece or wherever it was that that boat was heading to. All of this of course takes place at the same time as the EU is trying to ban exports of Italian Covid vaccines via the Mediterranean and presumably the Suez Canal. And if the EU were competent you could call grounds for a dastardly conspiracy theory, except as we're all more than aware the EU is far too incompetent to pull something like that off. If it were the Panama Canal that was closed then yeah I could see that they got the wrong location, they'd screwed it up and that would sound exactly like the sort of thing that Ursula von der Leyen would attempt, similar to when they raided that Astra Zeneca warehouse a few weeks ago and it later transpired that the vaccines in that location were actually a stock headed for Europe anyway and that they'd gotten the wrong address. Anyway, join me next week for more tales of EU misadventure. If you like these, click subscribe.